know, you already save a lot of money every year thanks to our videos. So save on car parts too. Buy them on the Mr. Auto app. Shipping is free. You will find the bulk brake discs and pads used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the rear brake discs and brake pads on your vehicle, you must first lift the rear of your vehicle and remove the wheels to gain full access. Raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Before starting, loosen the handbrake, otherwise you will not be able to complete the operation. Loosen the brake caliper. To do this, use a 13mm socket wrench as well as a 15mm spanner and remove the caliper mounting bolts. Using the large flathead screwdriver, release the brake caliper from its support and remove the pads. Change the noise damping shims if you have decided to replace them. Using a wire brush, clean the edges of the brake caliper mount where the brake pads go. Using a socket wrench and a T50 torque socket, loosen the screws on the brake caliper mount. Remove the screws and take the brake caliper mount off. With a hammer and a large flathead screwdriver, remove the flange from the bearing. Then, using a T-handle wrench and a 32mm socket, unscrew the nut on the hub. Finally, remove the disc. Hello, if this video helps you, like and subscribe. Take the new brake disc. Before installing the new disc, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If your new disc is painted, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. Remove the bearing protection cap. Place the new disc in place. Be careful, as this disc model has an integrated wheel bearing. Now, you can put the flange back on the hub. You have to tighten it well. Start the process off with a socket wrench And then finish off the process with a torque wrench set at 300 newton meter. Then put the cover back on the nut. Reassemble the brake caliper mount once again, starting the screwing process by hand and finishing with a socket wrench and a T50 torque socket to fix them in place. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Put the piston back. For this movement, you must have a brake caliper wind back tool. This is a specific tool that will make it possible to wind the piston back, but also to have it turn on itself to set the self-adjusting system on your handbrake. 
take the new brake pads. Coat the outside of the new pads with copper grease and slide them into the brake caliper mount. Position the brake springs parallel to the brakes themselves. Put the brake caliper back in place and screw in the caliper mounting bolts. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful! Before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 km or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed! Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool!